and that's why we love the Autumn Maiden. And now we're gonna be going to the Autumn Maiden. I'll be showing you guys what's up with it. Hopefully we can have a good time here. Nerf this. What the fuck? That Tommy gun kind of good too. Boy, you really thought you, you thought you had me, Pablo. Hey Siri, enable aim bot. No recoil automated, people. This motherfucker don't miss. My automated class is better than yours, bro. I'm sorry. So, uh, what's up, guys? It's your boy Hero here by Nino or Quadigy, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Warzone Pacific. In today's video, we're gonna be rocking and rolling with the most requested and most overused gun here in Call of Duty Wars in Pacific on Caldera, and that's going to be the Automated Assault Rifle. I absolutely love this gun. It's probably one of my favorite assault rifles here in Call of Duty Vanguard Multiplayer, and now in Warzone Pacific, it's definitely a really nice gun to use and super easy to use. If you want to think about it, it's basically like the M13 from Modern Warfare 2019, except it's better and has a bigger mag and a lot more accurate in my opinion. So if you guys are excited to see my 10 attachment class setup for the Automated that you should be using here in Call of Duty Wars in Pacific, and you guys can see the awesome solos gameplay experience that I had, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you new, and turn on those notifications. I upload entertaining Warzone gameplay every single day on the channel. And if that interests you, make sure you guys do subscribe as around 84% of people watching my videos aren't even subscribed. I just want to make sure you guys have the leg up on the competition here in Call of Duty Warzone Pacific, especially when we get closer to our goal of 100,000 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart because without you guys, I, I really wouldn't have the platform that I am. And the, the fact that we're so close to 100,000 subscribers is absolutely mind blowing to me. So thank you for being here. Also, if you have the spare time, make sure you guys check out all of my socials. Follow me on Facebook for even more Vanguard multiplayer footage or my More Carnage Hero YouTube channel. If you want something other than Warzone, obviously check out those channels. But on this channel, you already know we're going to be on that Warzone grind. Also, just wanted to shout out to those of you that commented in the comment section below in my videos to use the Auto Maiden. Like, I always check out all my comments, and the Automated has been one of the most requested guns ever since I started doing Warzone again, and I just want to say shout out to you guys. So if anybody watching this Warzone video right now wants to be my future Warzone Pacific videos with their comments shown on screen, just make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you new, and comment down in the comment section below what Warzone Pacific gun I should use next. I have every Warzone Pacific gun at max level, so if there's a certain gun that you want to see me use, and there's enough requests for it, then I'll try it out. And you guys can see your comments on the video, just like these beautiful people that I just showed off. So thank you for being here. And that's enough talking for me. Let's go ahead and show you guys the 10 attachment class setup for the Automated. For our muzzle, we got the MX Silencer. It's perfect because it keeps you off the minimap with that sound suppression, and you're gonna be more accurate for long range kills with that accuracy stat. For our barrel, we have the exact 600 millimeter BFA, and this is gonna be useful for that highly accurate and controllable stat, which means that this gun is gonna have very low recoil, and it's gonna be accurate at long range. And it's also gonna have reduced scope sway and gun bob. So when you're aiming down sights, you're not gonna have as much sway on it and the gun will be a lot more stable and easy to use, thus giving it no recoil, which is really nice. Our optic is gonna be the G16 2.5X. And this is one of the best optics in the game. It's just like the VOK from Modern Warfare 2019. And you'll be able to, you know, see your opponents easily and zoom in on them. So definitely rock this optic. Our stock is gonna be the Empress Broadsword. And for this uh, stock, we're actually gonna have initial firing recoil control and this means that when you first shoot the gun, those first couple bullets are gonna be very accurate. And usually those first couple bullets are gonna give you life or death situations. So you wanna make sure you're accurate with that. And that's gonna help you have the edge in gunfights. You can have ADS speed so you can put up your gun faster and recoil recovery so that it's easier to control your gun as you're trying to adjust for recoil. So very, very important stock to have on. The underbarrel is gonna be the M1941 hand stop. And this is gonna be great for long range kills because it's gonna give you even more recoil control and accuracy. The, com the combination of the last four attachments is gonna make this gun one of the lowest recoil and highly accurate controllable guns in the game. Thus being easy to use for everybody, which is great. The magazine is gonna be the 6.5 millimeter Sakura 75 round drum mag. And this is just gonna give you 75 rounds. This is perfect for solos, duos, trios, quads. It's perfect for anybody because you're gonna have so many bullets to spray at your opponents that you won't have to worry about like having to reload until your gunfight is basically over, which is just beautiful. I love the Automaton for just how easy it is to use for this. Our ammunition is gonna be lengthened as always for that extra bullet velocity so this gun can be more accurate at range. Rear grip is gonna be the fabric rear 
your group for that ADS speed and sprint to fire speed and hip fire recoil recovery. We need ADS speed and sprint to fire speed on this gun because it's going to be a little bit slow with all the other heavy attachments that we have. So we still want to have some speed capabilities, so especially for somebody like me who likes to rush around the map. It's just perfect for my playstyle. So put it on. Perk is going to be tight grip. And this increases your accuracy and recoil while continuously firing. So the more that you fire the gun, and the fact that it has 75 bullets means that with every bullet that you shoot, it's going to have less and less recoil and more and more accuracy, which is just going to make this gun a complete laser beam by the time you're done shooting it. So very, very effective in just almost any situation, which is awesome. And our perk 2 is going to be fully loaded, so we don't have to worry about, you know, picking up ammo. And yeah, that is the 10 attachment, automated class setup or automaton. I don't know, people call it a lot of stuff. What do you guys, how do you guys pronounce the automaton? Let me know in the comment section below your pronunciation. But I really love this gun. It's TTK is not as fast as the BAR, you know, the last gun that I covered uh, earlier today, but it's definitely very, very effective has low recoil, and is easy to use. So I definitely recommend this for anybody starting to play Vanguard Warzone or Warzone Pacific if they want a gun level up because it's one of the easiest guns to use and it's very effective. So if you guys end up using this class setup and you guys end up being very, very successful with it, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and turn on those notifications. And comment down in the comment section below how many kills and how many wins you end up having with this class setup. It makes me super happy to hear if my class setups are working out for you guys. Shout out to my channel members for the extra support on the channel. You guys are absolutely freaking amazing. I just want to say thank you guys for being here. That'll pretty much be it for me talking here. You guys are going to be seeing an epic solos gameplay. I didn't really get a crazy amount of kills, sadly. I got BS by one of the most powerful guns in the game, and I'll probably make a video on it and probably break Warzone by making a video on it, and you guys will see at the end. But uh, in almost any scenario that I was in, especially in long range, this gun will outgun your opponents with ease because it's so easy to use. So. Hopefully the gameplay kind of shows you guys that the Ottoman is very effective. You guys can kind of learn how to travel in Caldera and stuff. And hopefully you learn something from this video. So thank you for being here, like I said before. Check out all my socials, like I said before. And just know that I really freaking love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Check out the gameplay, and I really freaking love you all. Enjoy. So here we are playing some Call of Duty Warzone Pacific Solo Season 1. For today's video, we're going to be rocking and rolling with the Auto Maiden Assault Rifle. The Auto Maiden is kind of like the M13 from Modern Warfare 2019, except it packs a better punch, which is what I personally love about it. So we're going to have some fun, body some fools on Warzone Pacific here, and hopefully have a good time. Let me know if you guys have tried the Auto Maiden. When I played the game earlier, it was definitely one of my favorites. So hopefully I can... Uh, I hear somebody. Ooh, got him! Easy money, bro. Yeah, like I said, it, it, it was one of my favorite guns that I used when I um, when I played the game early. So definitely, definitely a beautiful, beautiful freaking weapon, to say the least. I don't know what that dude's doing over there, to be honest. This is a pretty nice place to land. I'm kind of liking Beachhead. It's been one of my my better landing experiences so far, I guess I could say kind of done so oh uh, this probably is my bounty target loki he come in here he's right here surprise motherfucker. how you doing buddy <laughs> his name is plebsicle sorry there plebsicle is out here you know trying to dominate yeah, i'm just gonna i'm just gonna kind of hold this area down pick up this bounty and then maybe we'll see some enemies around i wonder if they like bodied each other over here yet hold on Let's actually go for these dudes. Probably would be a smarter idea to tell you the truth. But I like this bot. Man, he took my kill. I'm gonna have to like body him on my own now. He's on my right over here. Hey yo, what the fuck? Sorry there, buddy. I know you were trying to run away, but we don't let that happen over here. Honestly, just holding a spot down like this, like beachhead is Pretty OP. So I know there is a person down there. But we won't worry about them until later on. We gotta get to this car low key. But what, what kind of guns are you guys starting to rock here? Let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this bounty kill. And then hopefully we'll have a good time here. Come here boy! He has fire bullets. This isn't fun at all. Bye, have a great time. He's still one shot, bro. I don't like the fact that he has fire bullets at all. Die, die, and he caught me die. on the wrong position right now. Woo! That was a nice little gunfight there. 
Definitely was a bit more of a battle, but you know, we kind of lived through that, thankfully. He might have been challenging somebody. That's why he was kind of like of a weird position here. But uh, I'm going to pretty much run somewhere. Let's go back here because I think it's just better if we like kind of stock up on some UAV. See? This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, get fucking mad, Brandon. If he was in that position, he had to have been challenging somebody. You got to kind of use your common sense when playing this game. But we got five kills so far, which is really nice. I definitely got to make an STG video soon. 100%. But for now, we'll uh, we'll travel over here. Somebody's over here because there was a, a whatchamacallit. There was a contract over here, but it's not here anymore. That means somebody's been here recently. Let's, uh, let's grab a UAV quickly. And there you go. Let's, uh, let's try to play a little bit smart over here. Try to get up top. High ground's always very key here. I'm gonna wait for him a little bit. There you go, there you go. Huh? Get played! Let's go, people! Freaking six kills already? Depending on where our bounties or our loadout spawns, we might just... Depending on what, where, where our loadout spawns, we'll either buy a loadout or we'll uh, get the free loadout. But for now, we're just we're just kind of kind of just waiting it out, you know? This is what I hate about this game, bro. Like, we got six kills. We could have had kills of our loadout already, but... You know, I, I want to show you guys this automaton. And it should appear right now. Oh, this is not far at all. Okay, we'll call in a UAV for now, get a UAV, and now we'll get our loadout. Let's rock and roll. Let me know if you guys like or hate the loadout change. Like, I kind of don't mind it, but it'd just be better for videos if I could just show you guys my loadout, like, right away. You know what I mean? It just, it's just kind of awkward getting a whole bunch of kills with ground loot weapons, and then showing off uh, this kind of setup later on, but... Yeah, we're gonna have to like maybe move over there or something. We need like bounties or something. Give me something nice here, baby. I hate how slow these cars are, man. These old vehicles just don't do it for me. They really make this game realistic in that sense, which is kind of annoying. So we got a dude over here. Looks like we're pretty safe. I don't think anybody else is really around here. Got this easy money. And there we go. Bunch of easy cash. See, this is what I like about freaking supply drops. They give you a lot of loot, bro. Bro, they give you a lot of freaking loot. They give me like two UAVs. Kind of wish it gave me like a like a scavy though, but it's all good. Sorry there, buddy. That was a good attempt, but my auto maiden is a laser beam. Sheesh. Okay. There's nobody around here again. We might as well go over here for this bounty. There's no trophy systems, are there? Unless you run the field upgrade. That means rocket launchers can be pretty OP against vehicles in this mode. Which is something I'm not too big of a fan of. Okay, we're gonna grab this. Oh, I see him. I see him. No recoil automated, people. Easy freaking cash. Sorry there, buddy. And we got 70 round mags on this thing, bro. Like, this is definitely like one of the better guns in this game, bro. I love the auto maiden. On this UAV just to be safe. And we got a fire sale. That's what I like to see out here. Bro, I swear it's so hard to find the uh, everything out here. Got a gas mask too. And there we go. Okay. Of course, there's a dude of an airplane over here, like the weirdo he is. Let's go for a bounty. Bounty doesn't seem terrible to go up against. He up top? Oh, he's right there. I see him. Sorry there, buddy. Got nine kills now with our beautiful freaking auto maiden here. Thank you for the free stuff, though. Appreciate you. And a daddy. 
Got an automated too. Automated meta people. Got uh, nine kills, almost ten. I'm liking the the feel of this game right now a lot. I'm kind of really enjoying Vanguard Royale. It's it's not that bad once you have solos in the game. There's a dude behind us. How far? Oh, he landed back there. We gotta we gotta kind of body this dude because. If he came back from the gulag, you know, he's feeling kind of weak, potentially, so... This might, uh... Might scare him a bit. My automated class is better than yours, bruh. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's go ahead and clutch up on some UAVs, and there you go! 10 kills, people! Okay. There we go. Where are we going next? We're probably gonna have to go to mines. Yeah, let's, we're gonna have to go to mines or something. We might have to take a... A look at the dude on the right of us. Great, people have ghosts in the area. This is not gonna be fun. Got 17 people just waiting around to body us. He's up somewhere. Where at? Oh, I saw him. Hold on. See how amazing this automaton is, bro? I love this gun so freaking much, bro. Okay, I kind of feel scared that I'm challenging a sniper right now. I'm about to just challenge this dude to tell the truth. Hold on. Let's find this dude. I'm over just like hiding away. Close range meta gun, shotgun. People are freaking nasty. That was disgusting. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, new channel, post notifications. That's as good as I'll do today. I got bodied by EBS, but... I didn't know what you guys think about the automated in the comments section below. I should probably use that combat shotgun, huh? Because that thing is actually just disgusting right now. They need to nerf the combat shotgun, like now. But uh, what Vanguard guns should I use next? Follow me on all of my socials. And uh, just keep being big ballers. I really freaking love you all. Let me know if you've been BS by the combat shotgun lately. It's absolutely disgusting. I, I'll see y'all later. Bye.